is the best website you could actually come and learn about charts. All right, let's begin. So if you actually, you know, click on the link I have under the description box and come to this particular website, the first page you're going to see is this page that crammed up all the charts we have on this website. My favorite part of this particular website is this particular function and input. Let us go with function. Clicking on function now is going to give us those particular, you know, buckets of charts. So if you want to use, uh, if you have a data that has to do with geographical data, you come right here and be able to see which kind of chart will be very okay with the kind of chart, uh, the kind of data you have. Let's say we have something that has to do with trend, like month, weekly basis, or even on based on time. So we can actually use trend over time. So using trend over time right now, there are various charts right here that would be okay for us to be used. Now we have this particular line chart as a favorite that will be very easy to be read. And we have this particular bar graph right here. Our bar chart right here, the vertical bar chart right here. Let us go with a line graph. Clicking on a line graph, what we have is, you know, some bunch of text right here. Read through it to understand what a line or graph could do. And come to the function area to read about what it is like. Is this used for distribution and it is used for trend over time. The same thing if I come to the same trend over time and go to what and go to the bar like where it is. Let us okay. Now let us go to this particular bar chart right here. So the function of a bar chart is for you know uh, comparison and as well trend over time. Let us see a practical way to use this. Now under this particular dashboard we have accident and casualty rate dashboard right here. As you can see you can see what we have comparison right here comparing this weekday to this weekday and we have this particular trend over time right here on a monthly basis you can see the rate of accident in 2014 based on the selected visual or uh, sorry the selected filter right here so can you see it it actually responds to filter so before you decide to actually use any of the charts you have right here all you have to do is to come and study what those charts we have right in here can do and what they stand for so before we finally move into this particular input let me show you one more aspect let's say we want to do something under distribution so once you click on this it gives you every single chart that could be used for distribution and let's say we make a decision to use a chart just like this for distribution the first question you have to ask yourself is this who are the end users are they your fellow analysts are they the public or manager ceo who are they so once you can actually answer this question you might decide to like okay this chat will be able to some kind of convey the kind of message i want to actually pass out and the end user will be able to relate with it if you know the public would definitely have any to do anything to do with your analysis or your visualization make sure you actually choose something that is some kind of very you know simple to be read now like this histogram for distribution will be very very okay whoever is actually going to come across your report your dashboard will definitely be able to relate with it and the final part among this particular part right here is like if you definitely choose a particular visual right here like this particular world cloud and uh, you go to your visualization tool be it excel power bi tableau click view or any other visualization tool if you check right here you might not find it as a default but why is it that you can get everything right here there are lots of charts in the marketplace that you can actually get so if you still want to have it all you have to do is to come back right here just copy this with ctrl c so once you've copied it, you can actually go back to your visualization tool and go to the marketplace and go to what gets more visual. So now that we've come to the marketplace, all you have to do is to paste in what we have just copied. And now we see it right here. They click and actually add it to your what? Add it to your Power BI desktop and you're good to go. So let us go back right here and look at what the input here can do. Under the input, what we have under the input is like if you have data with two columns, data with three columns and data like this, how do you visualize it? So if you click on it right now, what happens? It gives you all the charts that will be perfect to have this visualized. Can you see it? So you can click on this and see 
what it is. So you can read through this and see if it's going to be perfect for you on your project. And if we go back right here right now, you can actually use this particular part to scroll through the data we have right here. So we have something very simple. And if you're wondering like, ah, oh, this is something simple, just click on it and see what is actually on it. This is the different way you can have such kind of data visualized. This is a very, you know, good website. You can actually come to, you know, take your time to learn every single chart you have right here, understand why they should be used and why they should not, and see how you can actually, you know, use it on your next project. Okay, my final tip for you is actually getting colors for your dashboard. So here on this particular website, you can come right here and get different kind of, you know, our uh, colors palette for your, you know, um, dashboard. So now if you look at this particular uh, dashboard right here, I got my color from there and this is what it is. So the reason why I use this particular color is because I'm actually talking about accident and casualty rate right here. So it is not something that is positive. So it is some kind of negativity. I don't have to visualize this with green or whatsoever because it's not going to work. So to tell a story, you need charts, you need logic and you need colors to tell a story and to make sure your story actually match what it is so this is exactly what i want to show you ladies and gentlemen if you have not been a subscriber in my youtube channel before you might want to use this particular medium to hit the subscribe button share this video leave a comment and share your own opinion and if you have a particular better way to actually learn about chats beyond what i have right here you might want to share that on the comment section let me know about it you're welcome